Museums Northumberland Bait work in partnership with local groups and people to create new opportunities for people to shape and take part in creative projects. And the Bellwether project has been one of our last projects. And it started back in 2019, where we had some fantastic workshops and consultation conversations with people in the area to find out what the big themes were that people wanted to explore through creative activity. Um, I'm Trish and- I'm Nick. And we are an arts partnership, we're based in Nottingham. And our practice is all about creating deeper connections to the natural world through contemporary art. We're both lifelong naturalists, both lifelong artists as well. Art is really, when you think about it, always inspired by the natural world, whatever form it takes. We went out into the woods, but groups went out to the seaside and noticed things that you wouldn't usually notice. Things were pointed out that were real interest that we wouldn't have seen. It gives you a totally different insight into doing art. People wanted to explore this idea of care for the environment. The group of decision makers had come up with the brief for some artists that they wanted to work with and selected Trish and Nick because they were totally inspired by their project idea. We were really attracted to this project because it did have a mm. co-collaboration approach to the creative process and that really is something that inspired us when we applied. So we were really excited about the idea of working in this area of Northumberland and it's a coastal area but it's got some really nice sort of habitats inland as well. And so we set about creating a project which would be in different phases, which enable participants to work alongside us and see themselves as artists. The in-person workshops where we were met up after being so long on Zoom. That was really lovely to finally meet everybody and to go out and like look at different habitats. Just that chance to see the, the other side of you know how an exhibition's put together, um, what goes into it, all the different the thought processes has been really, really interesting. It was very much about how do we progress our artwork to form our own sense of identity as a gang that supporting and caring for nature. And naturally, what always happens with these projects is that the participants very much become part of the project on the same level as us in terms of the creative output. And you'll see that in the exhibition because they are the stars of it, really. So it's really nice to sort of go through that co-collaboration throughout. That involvement made things more important and things that people, you know, like a feather, how, how fabulous a feather is, a shell or a piece of bark, which you probably wouldn't have noticed if you hadn't actually taken time to look. I was rubbish at art at school, so I avoided it like the plague. So actually going out, a bit of mindfulness that people talk about a lot now, living in the moment, being in the moment, observing rather than just charging from place to place was fantastic. We also decided that a good idea, seeing as it was all going to end up in exhibition, was to have workshops that would be about how to lead people around a gallery space, much like in a photograph, your eye would be led around a good photograph, how to lead people around an exhibition, but also how to choose the right artwork. What sort of artwork do you want it to be in the exhibition? How do you want zones? So we presented to them lots of different styles, lots of different ways of doing that sort of thing, mounting, framing, vinyls, hanging, and they made all the decisions. Because it's a really important part of the process, I think, of being an artist is knowing how you want your work to come across to the public. The outcome needed to be something exceptional, like something that's going to be really, really elevate the sense of pride and spirit. It was going to be a labour of love, but we really wanted it to be of a certain standard. And we knew that their artwork totally deserved that. And so it is wonderful to find a platform and a way can really take that onto a, another level and show it in the way that we have. It's been really wonderful and exciting to see the reaction tonight. Today we're doing some printmaking. We're using letterpress and recycled materials inspired by the Bellwether project. I'm making a poster for my daughter to go in the kitchen, which says, Dance first, think later. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it, yeah. It's great, yeah. It's been a nice uh, nice thing, meeting a few other people and just getting them out and, and doing something different, basically. So. It's also, as well as developing their, their, their artwork, it's also developing their confidence in their abilities and what they can actually achieve. And I love to see that how people develop. 
and I've always been interested in art and when I saw this project I thought that it was something worthwhile to do so we've come along with my sister and another friend to um, have a couple of hours just exploring and being creative. One thing that's really important is why we want the audience to have that connection as well as, as, well as the participants but this is where you live, it's absolutely stunning.